Everybody's got a story, right? But what if your story is one that has the potential to harm someone or even harm you? Then how do you tell it? Well, stick around. In this next video, I'm going to share with you three safeguards that you can use to determine when and how to share your story. And for the best tips on storytelling, public speaking, and methods to leverage your story, subscribe to my YouTube channel, make a comment, hit the like button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I drop a new video. So let's get into it. Hey there, so if you're new to me, I'm Darieth Chisholm and I help hundreds of women worldwide tell their stories. Basically, I help them get seen, get heard and get paid. I'm qualified to do that because I've spent over 30 years in the media telling stories. I'm also a filmmaker and author and a visibility coach. And so many women come to me and they say, I've got a really great story, Darius, but I'm not so sure how to tell it. It's still raw to me. I'm still emotionalizing some of the pain. And I can tell you that if that is where you are, then for my first safeguard, which is if you're still in the story, then don't share it. Now, what do I mean by in the story? If what is happening to you is currently happening and you are still very much caught up in the emotion around it. If there are some things that trigger you or perhaps you feel unstable telling the story or worse, someone else could be harmed by it and perhaps you haven't talked with them about it, it's probably safe not to tell that story. We have 99 stories, right? We have probably 99,000 stories we could tell at any particular time. So pick a different one. If you know that emotionally you're not prepared to openly share it, if it's not something that you want to be made public, then it's not the right time to share it. You can simply choose a different story. So safeguard number two is if you can't tell the truth, don't share it. Nobody wants a story that's been fabricated, that's been made up, that you feel like you've got to add extra stuff in it just to make it sound interesting or uh, delicious, so to speak. You don't need to do that. Your story needs to be authentic. It has to be real and raw and relatable, but it does not need to be fabricated. It does not need to be a, a pack of lies that are strung together. And unfortunately, I think when people get to a place where they want to make their story more interesting, they start adding in things that really didn't happen or exaggerating certain things. So if you can't tell the truth about your story, then it's not one that you want to share. So before I get into the third safeguard, do me a huge favor and comment below and tell me what your story is. You can give me a sentence or two and I'm happy to read it and comment right along with you. So the third safeguard that I have for you is that if your story has the potential to help others, then share it. If you know that the story is one that, again, has the potential to help someone, that it is in service to others, that it's a story that could inspire or motivate or create change or have people think more deeply about something, then that is the story that you want to share. And you know, I'll, I'll quickly give you a, a brief um, description of this. You know, many of my clients, when they come to work with me and they're, they're really trying to narrow into the story and they're looking at ways that they can uh, use their story to be of service, you know, I remind them that storytelling is what so many of us do anyway, right? It's, it's how we communicate and how we connect with one another. And so if your story, when someone is hearing it, is moved by it, is, is, positioned in a way that they are now inspired and encouraged and want to make change because of it, then that is the story that you want to share. Now, how you share it and the pieces that for you might still feel difficult about storytelling, I get. But right now with these three safeguards, I want you to keep those in mind if you're still trying to figure out what the story is and whether or not it's safe to share. And if you need some help in this, if this is something that you know you'd like to uh, get some support around in terms of your storytelling, I've got a free resource for you. You can simply go to my website at dariath.com forward slash magnetic speaker. And I've got a free training there that will teach you some of the core basics around storytelling, as well as how to package your story up if you have a desire 
to share your story with the world. So you can simply go out to the website, register for the free training, watch it, take notes and get what you need out of it. So I promised you this was going to be a short, quick video, but I've got more in my library here on YouTube. So I invite you to take a look at the other videos that I have for you on storytelling, public speaking, making money as a speaker and ways that you can leverage your story. So I'll see you in the next video.